guys, it's Lisa Joy Young and I'm here with some uh, reviews for you. So I'm super excited because I have a lot of new products that I've gotten recently that I want to share with you and let you know my feelings on. Um, my husband took the kids to the gym so I have like a good 30 minutes of peace and quiet. So I'm going to try to whip through this for you. Um, I know that for me reviews are really helpful because in our industry we don't really have stores available to us where we could just go look at the products, play with the products, see what we like, and we have to get everything online and risk a lot because, you know, we might not like everything we get. So I try to review all the new stuff I get so that, you know, you have a better idea of whether or not they're right for you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to re be reviewing are the Fab Paints from Silly Farm. Um, Heather gave me this last time I went to do Faba TV. And um, I just want to let you know what I thought of them. So first of all, it comes in the same like laptop case if you get the case with it. You don't have to. Um, with the foam insert, uh, I left this one in because I don't um, take this along with me. I'm using this for storage. I already have some laptop cases that I take with me. Um, but I would suggest just ripping the foam out because basically it just, I like to hold my paints to work with them and it just makes it a pain in the butt to take them in and out. The foam gets dirty, it's hard to clean. I don't know, I don't like it. I don't really like the foam, but that's just my opinion. Okay, now as far as the paints go, I think there's a lot of um, really good things about them and some things that they're not so good for and that's how all paints are you'll find. Um, Diamond Effects is awesome, awesome, awesome for line works and detail. But as far as big blending goes, yes, you can do that with Diamond Effects, but it's hard because it's sticky and opaque and it's very difficult. These paints, on the other hand, are great for blending. They're awesome for backgrounds. Um, they're very creamy, they're very soft. Let me see here if I could uh, get one out and show you an example. Okay, so this is Dolphin. It's a really pretty aqua greenish, bluish color. Anyways, look at how soft it is. Watch, you could just push. I don't know if you can see that, but you just can push right into it. It's so soft um, and so creamy. So it's very, very easy to blend. You have a good long time. You can work with it. You don't have to be as fast as you do with like Wolf Brothers. Um, you can take your time on it and get that blending to be perfect. So I love this stuff. For backgrounds, if you're a beginner and you're having a hard time blending, I would definitely suggest getting this paint for backgrounds and then maybe get a small palette of Tag or Diamond Effects or Wolf to do line work and details with. Um, they're also good for rainbow cakes. Um, not so much for split cakes, and I'll get to that, but for rainbow cakes, which are the big, you know, the big cakes that you use with a sponge and put on for a background. They're easy to make rainbow cakes with because they're so pliable. You can just kind of push them and mold them into whatever shape you need to. They won't crumble apart when you're trying to make the rainbow cakes. Um, and they give a nice blended and smooth even coverage once you put the rainbow cake on. So I love them for that. Now I made a lot of split cakes with these and I have to admit that I'm not loving them so much. Okay, the reason why I'm not liking them so much for split cakes is because they're a little more sheer, a little more creamy. Um, I noticed that they wear unevenly, if that makes sense. So like, I made a standard rainbow with them and the orange is like way far down and all the rest are up. Um, I have to reload my brush more, I noticed, because they're more of a sheer coverage. So for splits, they're not great. Some of them work well. Um, and you'll find that like this color, which looks brown, it's actually like a plum, it's called plum and it's like a deep burgundy color. Um, that one is a very intense color, it works well. The problem is you don't know which colors are good until you've tried them all. So, you know, you're kind of risking stuff with that. So I recommend these for background colors. Um, for rainbow cakes and some of the colors you can use for details as well, but I think that they're a great paint. All right, another product that I've gotten recently are um, these things, and they're from Martha Stewart, and they're um, like those daubers or maxi mops, and I've been wanting to get some for a while now for spiders and bubbles and balls and all of that, and um, I just happened to find these at Michael's, and I thought they looked cool because they weren't like the 
you know, cheapy wooden stick. I felt like these looked like they would last longer. But the coolest part, I didn't even find out until I got home. How cool is this? Bam, you just pull it out. I think that's awesome because number one, there's nothing for it to become detached to so that it get, gets ruined. I think that'll last a lot longer. And also, whenever you need to clean it, you just pull it out and you can clean the whole sponge and you don't have to worry about any glue coming loose or anything like that from cleaning. You could even throw the whole thing in the washing machine with the rest of your sponges. So anyways, I used them this weekend at an event and they worked really well. They were nice and uh, firm. They're really, really firm, which I love. And um, they worked very well. So yay for these. I think it came with, let's see, it came with all different sizes in the pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, six sizes. I'm cleaning these right now so they're not in here. But six of these things for five bucks and I had a 40% off coupon so it was only, you know, like two something. So really good deal, go out and get those. All right, the next product I have to review are the BAM stencils. Okay, first thing I wanna say about these are I hate the names. I hate the names, why would anybody? Mm. Okay, BAM stands for BAMS stands for badass mini stencil. And I just feel uncomfortable saying that. Why would you name your product something that will make people uncomfortable to say? I don't know, whatever, I don't like it. But aside from that, I think they're actually good products. Um, they're handy to have, but they're insanely expensive. I can't remember how much I paid. I think it was like $4, but four bucks for one tiny flimsy stencil. I thought that was a little crazy, but I wanted to try it out, so I bought it. And um, I like it, and they are good for fast texture and design, but they're gonna take practice. I thought it was gonna be a no-brainer, and that's not the case. The first time I used it, um, I did it on my daughter, and I had to wipe her face off four times because I kept messing it up. And the reason I would mess it up is because um, I'd put it on the face and then she'd move and okay, now it looks bad. Or I would put it on there and the paint would be too wet and it would bleed. Or um, I put it on the wrong way one time and got all, anyways, it was just a mess. Um, I think once you get used to using them, they're probably really easy and they become no brainers to use, but I would play with them before an event if I was you. So if you get them, definitely make sure you know how to use them before whipping them out at an event. Um, so I think that they're good to have in your kit. Um, probably only get the essentials, maybe three or four at the most, um, because they are so expensive. I think the entire kit of them is over $200, which is in, if, if I'm right, if I'm wrong, correct me, but that's insanity. That is insane. Uh, but yeah, I liked these. I think it's worth it to get a few. All right, moving on. Um, I got the large red snazaroo brush recently. I mentioned them in some mentioned it in some Easter videos I did. And I'm kind of bummed because I was in love with this brush when I first got it. It made perfect flowers. But just after a few uses, it I don't it just got all um the point went away just after a few uses. I don't know if you could see that if it's showing up, but it's all frayed at the end now. And um, if I make really big flowers, it's okay, but when I try to make smaller flowers, the ends of the flowers look frayed. If the paintbrush isn't completely wet, it looks frayed and the flowers just don't look good. So I'm really bummed about that. Um, I'm gonna try using it a couple more times just to make sure what I think, but it's not as great as I originally thought. All right, the last product I have to review is um, a sponge. And I cannot remember the name of this sponge, so I'm gonna put it right here. Um, and that will tell you what the name is. All right, um, I got this off of facepaintform.com because their description said that it was like the best sponge and the highest quality, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, I gotta try that one. And I bought it and I'm disappointed in it because it's so soft. Um, if you like, your sponges to be soft then yeah I get this because the texture of these is actually really nice it's a nice uh, soft texture it feels good on the skin if you're using it more for makeup on adult on adults I would recommend it um, 
and it applies the paint I guess pretty evenly I mean I don't know I don't really notice much difference between sponges in that arena but I do like my sponges to be super super firm because I feel like the firmer they are the more control you have and the easier it is to create the shapes you want your fingers don't mush into them and get all painty and um, this one's dirty because I just used it but that's why I like my sponges to be firm. These are really soft. They're the softest sponges I've ever even had. So I'm not very excited about it. Um, kind of wishing I didn't buy four of them, but I'll use them since I have them. They're just not my favorite. Um, that's it for the reviews today. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Thanks if you've stuck with me this far. I know it was a long video and I had lots of information. Um, Quick updates, um, in May I'm going to be at the FABAIC or the FABAIC, the Face and Body Art International Convention. I'm going to be teaching a few classes there. I'll be doing um, like a fast, easy and impressive class and I'll also be doing a winged creatures class. So if you're going, please, please come and see me. I'd love to meet you and say hi. Um, I can't wait. It's going to be a great time. Check it out. I'll put a link to the um, address, uh, web address for it below. And um, all right, that's it. I will see you later, guys. Bye.